Okay guys, I want to warn you in advance that this video today is either going to make you laugh or cry and maybe you want to punch a hole in your screen. So don't say I didn't warn you, but everything that I'm going to say uh, in this video is completely true and I'm going to back it up with charts and data. So if you don't have a college degree, or you're considering going to college, or you know somebody who's considering going to college, or if you have a college degree that's not really doing you a whole lot of good, then you're really going to want to learn this information, even though some of it might be frustrating. Okay, so I happened upon this article with Elon Musk talking about his opinion about college, and so I'm going to talk about what Elon Musk says about it, and then I'm going to tell you how that's relevant to you, and how you can apply it to your unique situation. So the article says, Elon Musk says college is basically for fun, not for learning. You don't need college to learn stuff, okay? Tesla founder says. I'm going to read through the first part of the article, it's really short. Uh, Tesla founder Elon Musk said college is basically for fun while speaking at the Satellite 2020 conference in Washington, D.C. on Monday. Musk was answering a question from one audience member who asked how Musk thinks colleges and universities can make education more affordable and accessible, especially for underprivileged students. Well, first of all, you don't need college to learn stuff, okay, Musk began. Everything's available basically for free. You can learn anything you want for free. It's not a question of learning. Okay, so this is exactly what I've been saying for a long time. College just isn't going to teach you the job skills that you need in order to get a high-paid career. I'm going to talk a little bit about more, that more later. But it's interesting that this was in response to somebody has, asking how uh, education can be more affordable and accessible, especially for underprivileged students. Now, here's the truth of the matter. Education is more affordable and accessible right now than it has ever been in the history of the world. But they like to complain and say that education is not affordable and accessible. Now, the truth is that college, formal education from a college or university is less affordable and accessible than, and than ever. But college does not equal education. You do not need college to learn stuff, in Elon Musk's words. Everything is available basically for free. Look, you can learn anything online that you want just about for free. There are online courses. There is YouTube, there is Amazon.com where you can get just about any book in the history of the world for like 10 or $15. You can learn anything that you want to learn basically for free. So when I hear people say, oh, well, college is inaccessible, education is inaccessible, I hear an excuse. They're saying, I don't have the willpower or the brain power or the initiative to go and actually learn something even though it is right at my fingertips and it is free so I'm gonna complain that the politicians need to give it to me and it's funny how he says uh, especially for underprivileged students now there's a, a site called Coursera.org which I'll, I'll show you real quick this is a very cool site where you can get all sorts of college classes literal college classes from high-level accredited universities, you can get absolutely 100% free. Now, Coursera.org was started by a professor at Stanford University. And you can see some of the, the universities there, Duke and University of Michigan, Stanford, UPenn. These are like big name universities that have all sorts of courses available for free. This was started by a Stanford professor who wanted to make education accessible and affordable for underprivileged people who couldn't afford it. So he created this website, he got all of these free college courses that are available to anybody that has an internet connection, and guess what they found? What they found was that the vast majority of people who took these courses were people who already had a college degree. So even when a high-level college education is available from the comfort of their own home, absolutely for free, the people who are so-called underprivileged don't take advantage of it. So the truth is that people are not underprivileged because they don't have access to this stuff. They're underprivileged because they choose not to make use of it. So what this makes abundantly clear is that so-called underprivileged people don't avoid education because they don't have access. They avoid education because they don't have the willingness. And of course, that's not true for everybody. You know, I realize there are a whole lot of people that don't even know that sites like Coursera.org exist. They don't realize that they have all of these resources right at their fingertips. 
Which is why if you go looking at my other videos, I'm constantly pointing people to resources like this because I'm saying, hey, take your education into your own hands because you can learn anything that you want to. Anyway, so I didn't mean to go off on a big rant about that. So let's go back to the article here. He said the main value of college is its ability to teach young people how to work at tedious tasks like homework and soldier through it and get it done. Adding that it also has value for students who want to hang out with people their own age for a while instead of going right into the workplace. So basically, hang out with people, it's for fun, and teach you how to work hard at tedious tasks. Do you think that you could figure out how to work hard at tedious tasks in a way other than going to college and spending a hundred grand? Of course you could. Colleges are basically for fun and prove you can do your chores, but they're not for learning, he concluded, earning laughs from the crowd. The billionaire engineer has previously expe expressed the opinion that college is not necessary or right for everyone, including future Tesla and SpaceX workers. In 2018, he said, I don't give a damn about your college degree. And I like how the link up here says, Elon Musk says he doesn't care if employees graduated high school. I really wanted to talk about this because this is where the workplace is going. Elon Musk employs a lot of people. He's a business owner with a lot of employees and he's not the only business owner who feels this way. More and more business owners are starting to recognize that going to college is just not very helpful for learning actual job skills. And the, the degree requirement is dropping off of more and more job applications. You know, I teach this class on how to get remote jobs and I see this all the time, especially for remote jobs which a remote job is a job that you can work from a computer, you can work from home, you can work from Starbucks, you can work from a beach halfway across the world, you can work from wherever you want, because all you need is your computer and a Wi-Fi connection. You don't have to go into an office to work a remote job. And so the remote jobs in particular are kind of forward thinking types of jobs. So uh, fewer and fewer of them are requiring college degrees because they are starting to recognize a college degree just doesn't matter. And I'm going to show you why that is right here. Now, the first chart I'm going to show you is this chart right here. Hopefully you can see that. This is showing you uh, where college tuitions are going. Now, if, the, if you look at this, the, the um, least steep line here, the first line, it says consumer price index. This is from uh, the year 1982 until 2007 and you know this has only gotten more extreme since that date but this is the inflation rate and then this next line is the medium family income and then this last line up here is college tuition and fees it is rising exponentially and far faster than either the inflation rate or the amount of money that people are making so college is getting to be more and more expensive at a crazy fast rate as time goes on. Now, let me show you the second chart. This is the percentage of Americans with college degrees by year. So we go from 1986, where 19.4% of Americans had college degrees, and this is the same around the world, until uh, 2016 here, 33.4% of Americans had college degrees. Now. Notice that this is not really uh, showing you the full data here because if in 1986 only 19.4% of people got college degrees, well by 2016, that's 30 years later, uh, most of the people that were alive in 1986 are still alive in 2016. So that 19.4% is going into this 2016 number. So if you consider just the young people, just the, uh, the people that are, let's say, ages uh, 22 to 30. I'm not sure what the statistics are exactly, but it's close to two thirds. It's close to 66% for just younger people. So what that means is that of people that are college age in recent years, two thirds of them are going to college, whereas in 1986, it was only 19%. It was about one in five. Now it's about two out of three, right? So it used to be that college meant that you were in the minority. Now college means that you are in the majority. So the implication of that is that if you go to college now, it means nothing about you. 
It means that you're average. If you went to college in 1986, that would signify that you're in the top 19% of people. If you go to college in, the, in 2016, it signifies that you were in the majority. It doesn't mean anything. Now, another implication of this is that in 1986, if only the top 19% of people were going to college, what do you think that says about the college curriculum? Well, that means that the college curriculum, the stuff you were actually learning, was targeted towards the top quintile, the top 20% of people. Whereas in 2016, the college curriculum is targeted towards people who were average and below average. Because the colleges make money, they want to get as many enrollments as they can. And if the curriculum is so hard that only 19% of people can handle it, well, then they aren't going to get 66% of people to sign up. They're getting three times as many students, and if they make the curriculum difficult at all, then they're going to lose a big portion of those students. So the quality of education, as the cost is rising exponentially, the quality is taking a nosedive because they can't discriminate, right? They have to have tolerance. They have to give everybody a trophy, etc., because they just can't afford to be selective. It would hurt their bottom line something terrible. So the quality of a college education is dropping through the floor. Now, take a look at this article. Recent college graduates have the highest unemployment rate in decades. Here's why universities are to blame. Now, I'm not going to go into why universities are to blame, but take a look at this quote. According to the Fed, college graduates defined as ages 22 to 27 years old, holding a bachelor's degree or higher, are more likely to be unemployed and underemployed compared to overall workers. So what that means is that if you're in that 66% that's getting a college degree, your career opportunities are less, you are more likely to be unemployed than you're part of the other 33% who did not go to college. So if you paid $100,000, spent four years of your life in college, probably saddled yourself with a whole bunch of student debt, then that made you less likely to find a job than the people who did not go to college. Sorry to break it to you, the value of your college degree is literally less than zero. And I'll tell you why that is too. Think about it this way. Uh, if I told you that I got an email from a guy claiming to be a prince in Nigeria and asking me to send him $100,000 so that he will share his fortune with me. And I did it. I took out a whole bunch of huge loans and sent him $100,000. And now I'm in broke, in debt. He never came through and I can't find a job to pay back my debt. If I told you that story, what would you think about me? Well, you'd probably feel sorry for me and you might think that I was a little bit stupid. Now think about if you were a hiring manager, if you were looking for somebody smart and capable to work on your team at your company and somebody walked through your door and said, hey, uh, I really need this job because I sent $100,000 to a Nigerian prince in my email inbox and he scammed me and I didn't get anything in return. How likely would you be to hire that person? Probably not very likely. So if you change the story just a tiny little bit and say, oh, I spent $100,000 on a college degree that left me broke and unemployed and didn't do me any good, uh, that story, it's still the same story. You got scammed. And I'm not trying to like make you feel bad because I got scammed too. I went to college. I took on a whole bunch of debt and learned nothing of value. In fact, I couldn't get a job for a full year after uh, I graduated from college. And the only reason that I did eventually get a job was because I taught myself stuff on the internet for free. And since I learned that lesson, I've actually had a very successful career, which is mostly a long series of accidents, basically. Kind of secrets that I stumbled into by chance um, over the years. And so now that I figured this stuff out, I actually teach it to people. I teach a four week boot camp all about all of this stuff that I learned over years and years by accident. If you know this stuff up front, uh, then you can apply it right away. And I teach you how to do that to get a remote job. Actually, this would work for getting any job, but I love having a remote job where I can work from home, where I can travel the world because it gives me so much more freedom and so much more time. 
than if you have to go to an office every day. So if you want to learn more about that boot camp, uh, I am taking members right now as I'm recording this video. I'm not going to promise it'll be available if you're watching it later, but check out the link in the description below if you're interested in learning more about that. And of course, I'd appreciate if you hit the thumbs up on this video, subscribe to my channel, and of course, share this video uh, with anybody that you know that, that you know might be thinking about going to college or people who still think that college is a good idea for whatever reason, because it used to be a good investment. Right? It used to be a good investment in the past and a lot of people are still stuck in that mindset because they do not realize that times have changed. The price has gone way up and the value has gone way down. So share that video with anybody who needs to see it. And then if you want to learn a little bit more about how you can get a high paying remote work from home job with no college degree, check out this video.